Welcome back to another video. So I received this command. Let me see the command. So over here. How do I edit the model afterwards? So we had this transfer from Blender to Katia V5 as an, as an STL file. And let's take a look at how we can work with that within Katia. So I will add the model again. So regarding the scale size, keep in mind that since this is an STL, if I'm going to import it at a scale of one, we're going to see that this will be quite small. So let's see, we have this added. Now, for example, if I will go to generative shape design and I will go within the Y and Z plane, which goes through the middle of the car. And if I'm going to go with a section cut, if I will go with the spline tool and I will try to paste that, you're going to see that the spline will look quite weird. So it's quite sharp, as you can see over here. And if I'm going to go to tools options, you're going to see that the accuracy is set um, 0 0.02. So that's a good accuracy. The main problem over here is regarding the file size, since this was saved from Blender and imported as an STL file to Katia. This will be quite small. So if I'm going to take a look at the distance between those two points, we're only going to have 0 0.3 millimeters. And that is the reason why the spline will look oddly shaped over here. If I will exit that, and for example, I will try to have this extruded, you're going to see that even 20 millimeters on the side will look like this. So this should be quite small. So let's say one millimeter, have that mirror extended. And we're going to see that the resulting surface in Katia won't be that, that pointed, that edgy, as we can see over here. But it is important to import um, the model at the right scale. So we have the possibility to have this scaled now or we can just have that re-imported at the correct scale. If I'm going to go within Blender, I will press 1 or let's say 3 to go to the right orthographic view. If I will go with the measure tool, if I will measure the car, we're going to see that this is at the true scale. So it will have around uh, four and a half meters on the length. Therefore, the model over here is at the correct scale, but within Katia, we need to have that um, scale because if I'm going to go over here within the same um, view, if I will go with the line tool all the way from the back to the front, you're going to see that this will only have um, around 4.5 millimeters. So we need to scale this a thousand times. I will have that deleted as well as the associated elements. I will go back to start, digital shape editor, and within the import section, we have the possibility to scale this by 1000. We can also use transformation affinity to have that scaled, but I usually prefer to import it at the correct size at the start. So now if I will go within the same um, plane, which is this one, if I will do a sketch over here, I will create a line just to roughly measure this. We can see at the top the distance over here we had the length or we can add that and we're going to see that this will be the true scale. And now if I will go within, um, within let's say the section using the cut part by sketch plane, and if I will trace the same spline over here, so that will follow that, uh, that hood. We're going to see how this will be a lot, uh, a lot better. Okay, so my mouse double clicked. I will have just have that deleted and I will recreate it. I really need to change my mouse because sometimes it just double clicks for no reason. And in Katia, that means it will end the features. So for example, if I will double click it, it will end. And again, if I will go over here with um, with an extrude for this one, you're going to see that 
let's say 40 millimeters will only go all the way over there now all this uh, won't be a single spline so this should contain multiple uh, sketches it can also be defined using a multi-section as as we can see this middle sketch will only go over here so we can use a multi-section in order to define that or we can use multiple um, sketches this is to address that uh, question regarding how we can uh, model this the problem is that we can't model directly on the mesh so we need to, to work with surfaces in katia to work with that we can use automatic surface if i'm gonna go i'm gonna go over here within the quick surface reconstruction we could go with an automatic surface for everything but that won't give us the best um, details if you will use this automatic surface i highly recommend that you will isolate each component for example you're gonna go over here within um, blender and you're gonna have only this um, exported as an individual stl and afterwards you can do an automatic surface just for this element and that will work better now within this um, already defined um, stl this is a little bit harder but for example if i will select the hood i will go over here export stl i will go on desktop i will call this hood and i will check selection only i will have that exported i will go back to katia go back to digital shape editor we have the possibility over here to import that so this will be the hood i will find that on my desktop hood again i will scale this a thousand uh, with a factor of a thousand i will click ok and we're gonna see how we have that hood added it will go directly within um, the intended location so as you can see this will be only for the hood and now if you want to use automatic surface you can do that but only for the hood for example you're gonna see the mean surface deviation the surface detail we can have this increase i will increase it to 5000 we're gonna see that in this case that value will be out of range and we see that um, it will go all the way up to this surface detail but this is regarding the mean deviation so as you can see over here this will be um, 0 0.005 i'm gonna go with something like 0 0.1 and that should enable us to go a little bit higher but as you can see the value will still be out of range so i will just keep the surface detail to 100 um, 1700 target ratio will go with higher so 99 you can also go with full internal tangency for this one and i will click preview and since this uh, doesn't have so many details katia will be able to have this uh, defined but still the best option would be to go with individual um, sketches and have those traced so let's take a look at what katia generated over here i'm gonna hide the blue hood which is this one in stl file format i'm also gonna hide the aston martin stl and as we can see the automatic surface has a lot of um, surface problems over here so we see that there are many elements that are not um, not smooth and we don't have the possibility to go and smooth that uh, out like we can uh, in blender for example using the sculpt workbench so if i'm gonna uncheck the internal tangency we're gonna see that katia will have this retrace usually it will process that faster but without the tangency the model will um, be in some cases even of poorer quality but as we can see within this case they are quite similar so this is one approach uh, but it's not recommended the best one is to go with multiple sketches do some multi-sectioning and have those defined mainly within the generative shape design workbench over here 
So you can define various planes. You can go within section cuts with, between those. For example, if I'm going to put another reference plane over here at 50, if I will go over here within a section, we're going to see how that spline profile for the hood will be slightly different over here. And afterwards, we can do some multi-sectioning within geometry shape design to have that defined. If you want to define sketches directly on STL files, we can do that. Directly over here within uh, geometry shape design, as we can see, we don't have that possibility. We only have um, the spline over here in 3D. We can make use of the tools within uh, Freestyle. So over here we had the possibility to, to use this 3D curve or we can use this curve on surface. The cur curve on surface cannot be directly positioned onto the STL file, only onto an existing um, CATIA um, surface. So as you can see over here, I can do that over here since this has been um, generated. But yeah, it's not, not the best workflow. If you want to work directly onto the um, STL, you're going to have to go within quick surface reconstruction because over here we're going to have a tool for that. And as you can see underneath uh, 3D curve, we're also going to have curve on mesh option. And the curve on mesh will allow us to initially select the support mesh in this case will be the back um, Aston Martin model and now based on those vertices that define the model if I'm gonna go over here and uh, see this like this so we're gonna have all those vertices points that we can link to so I can position those splines and I, this will define a 3d curve so we see that this enter an update cycle. I'm just going to recreate this. But before I will trace it, I will go within uh, the top view. So I'm going to see the hood like this. Again, go for that curve on mesh, select the mesh. We see it over here. And afterwards, we can start positioning various points. So keep in mind that this is a 3D curve that will go along those so in some positions as you saw over there there were some uh, let's say glitches but it's mainly because katia tries to put that point on the, the surface for example if i'm gonna go over here to the, um, uh, to the let's say um, swiper over here we're gonna see how katia will try to position that point so it will still be linked to this one so Keep that in mind. <coughs> also, you can snap it. As you can see over here, we know that this line is on the middle. If I will go with curve on mesh over here, this will snap. We're going to see that um, red square. But afterwards, we're going to need to change also those, uh, those tangencies. So with the curve defined, you can click OK for that. But afterwards, you should also let's say have that adjusted so as you can see over here if i will position this i have the possibility to move that point and i can also change those tangencies so i can make them either larger or smaller and i can also have those repositioned and with the resulting curves, you can go back to Jati shape design and you can start filling in those. But that that's, let's say, quite a lot of work. And this way, Katia, it's not the best solution for modeling. You don't have the possibility to work, uh, let's say, just select elements and have those uh, extruded only within Imagine and Shape. But as we know, that Workbench has some limitations compared to Blender. Because for example, in Blender, if you want to work with this, you can just go with an edit mode. You can change the selection type, for example, for face. 
and I can select over here multiple um, elements. For example, all those eight faces, I can press E in order to have this extruded. And for the extrude, we also have multiple possibilities. So we have um, extrude along normals, extrude individuals. And we're going to see how all those will, uh, will work a little bit different. But in this case, extrude along normals should be the best option. So let me just go with that, have that extruded. Afterwards, maybe we're going to add an insert over here so we can add more geometry. And later we can have that cut, uh, let's say, towards the interior. And if you want to add a bevel, we can select those faces, press Ctrl B to add that bevel. And we can, let's say, start shaping that um, how we, let's say, how we want. But this is a workflow that will uh, not be available within Katia. So um, it's mostly surfaces, but the main advantage of surface modeling is that they are uh, parametric. So you have a history for all of those. You have uh, some sketches that control them. While in Blender, you do the extrusion. And um, afterwards, you're only going to have the last operation uh, if you're going to press uh, F9. This will give us uh, the last, as we can see over here, toggle edit mode. But all that history regarding that extrusion, how much was that surface um, extruded that, that is missing. So it doesn't have any history. Okay, so I hope that um, you find this video useful. If you want to try to edit some, um, some models that you import from, from Blender to Katia, this will be the, um, the approach for that. But I may recommend to go for the Jati shape design because the automatic surface uh, are not, let's say, the best option as we as we saw. Okay, so I will position a similar video over here to the left. I will add the Katia V5 tips and tricks playlist at the top, and I will put a subscribe button to the right. So thanks for watching.